accident, also known as road traffic crashes, have become a normal and reoccurring phenomenon in Nigeria. It constitutes a menace in modern times. Both the developed and developing nations of the world have suffered from one varying degrees of road accidents. The World Health Organization reports that about 1.24 million people die annually on the world's road, with 20 to 50 million sustaining non-fatal injuries. The African region had the highest rate of fatalities from road traffic injuries worldwide at 26.6 per 100,000 population for the year. In Nigeria, injuries and death resulting from road traffic accidents are on the rise, resulting into Nigeria's third leading cause of overall death, the leading cause of trauma-related death and the most common cause of disability. Every four hours, no fewer than two lives are lost on Nigerian roads, and every year, about 20,000 of the 11.655 million vehicles in the country are involved in accidents. The Federal Road Safety Commission is the leading agency in Nigeria on road safety administration. It was established in 1988 with the statutory function of making the highways safe for motorists and other road users. It must be admitted that the agency has done a lot of work on road safety campaigns and implementation of traffic safety regulations in Nigeria. To ensure that this campaign gets to communities in Ejibu and its vicinities, one of the foremost faith-based organizations in Nigeria, the Muslim Congress Ejibu Chapter, in collaboration with the Ejibu Local Council Development Area, organized an awareness program on road safety. In order to prevent advance or reduce the crisis caused by the monster known as road accident, the Muslim Congress, Ejibu LCD, has carefully selected this topic and invited stakeholders to help in the cause of it. The issue of nation building is paramount for our society. That is why we want a society that is morally, spiritually and educatively conscious of their well-being and development. I want to be positive that at the end of this program, we should have learned one or two things from the session. Once again, I want to welcome all to this wonderful occasion. The guest speaker at the program, Assistant Commander Abdul Rashid Abdul Wahab of the Federal Road Safety Corps, spoke on the relevance of the awareness program to the people of the community. We have seen vehicles run into each other and people lose their lives. We have seen someone cross and the vehicle will knock the person down. We have even seen people that are in their house. They didn't go out there. They are in their house. That is where a vehicle will come and hit them. This lecture is not even about uh, so be I don't have motor. So be I don't go out. That is my house. See where I am working. I don't even need to enter bus to go to work. So why should I listen to this lecture? In the course of his lecture, he described the major causes of road traffic crashes. Every road has a stipulated speed you are meant to move. That's why if you pass some places, you will see a road sign that says 30 kph. That kph is 30 km per hour. If you are driving on that kind of a road, and you are moving at 35 km per hour. You are over speeding already. It is very important when driving to know the right time to overtake. If you are in a vehicle with a driver and he's driving recklessly, see, if you know that if you tell him straight, ah, driver, you are driving rough, he will start insulting him. Just use an idea, tell my driver, please, I want to use myself. He has no choice, he will stop. When he stop, go down, do as if he is yourself. Come back, tell him, driver, the radar is support you. I am very sure we listen to you at that time. Another issue is faulty brake system. 
most people, the only time they know they are Greek is bad. It's maybe when they use it and it doesn't work. But before then, this break would have been giving some signs. You hear that hearing some sound. Or it will even reflect on your dashboard. Boldly written, break. It might either be your boat fluid is good, or your brake pads are bad, or they are not intact. All these things should be checked properly. He thereby advised drivers and other road users to be conscious to prevent road traffic crashes and save lives, which is considered to be sacred. Before embarking on any journey with your vehicle, check your engine oil in the morning. Check your radiator for the water level. Check your fan belt if it's rolling properly. Look, no, these vehicles you are seeing, they are not predictable. You can still check everything when you get on the road, they will mess you up. But you will know you have done your own part. We are not there to, to pursue everybody. We are not there to enchant anybody. Our joy is for everybody to move from one place to another. Speaking on the security of the community was the Divisional Police Officer of Ejibu Police Station, represented by Superintendent Anu Oluwakpo Aladeyeun. She enlightened the audience on necessary security tips needed to secure their valuables. We need to be vigilant, we need to be watchful in anywhere we get to. Then always park your car at a particular place where people can see. If you know that you are going for an event, a conference or a place you don't really familiar with, you can even drive to a police station or a particular organization. We have security agents. At times, it may not even cost too much. You can appreciate the security man for keeping your car. So for you to have it in a safe place is better. That will avoid vandalization of your vehicle. On the other hand, members of the audience query how to deal with the major security challenges they face on the road on a daily basis. Officers have spoken about vehicles and all that is. But we've not heard about human beings walking on the road. How do we manage the road so as to prevent accidents? If you know that walking on the road will expose you to danger, a bike can come and knock you down. Don't really say very good. You know these motorcycles could be very reckless. One can even come from your back. You are walking against traffic and it's coming on one way. So the advice I will give you personally is just be more cautious. That's just that. Caution me, I will see I will see too. There are kind of new drug houses in Luna Martin and Newell and out of Luna Martin. The driver's license, the official rate is 6350 for three years. The five years is 10,350 naira. And it's going to take, it's supposed to take 60 days. 60 working days. An alert will be sent to you. Once the alert is sent to you, you will not take the alert. The, the, your text message, you will take it to the um, NBA section where you collect your driver's license. While giving votes of thanks, the organizers appreciated the host, guest speakers and the audience at the event as they hoped the information passed at the program would be relayed to their people in the community. Members of the communities in Ejibu and its environs as well as dignitaries present at the event commended the organizers for putting up such a timely awareness program in their community. They however said information gotten at the program will be conveyed to their people. We really appreciate the organizers for bringing this kind of lecture to the Ejibu people because in the, next, in the few ways I know, our officer will try to relay the message on several social media for people of Ejibu to make sure they abide with the little what they've given to us as the message today. I've benefited so much that I'll be able to take to my community that I attended this type of place and 
I gained a lot about security of when you are going out to move, face uh, uh, traffic so that you will not have an accident. Now we have to appreciate the organizer. They really tried. Even both the policeman and the, the policewoman and the FRS, they've tried their best. Only for us to think of what on what they've said. At the local level, it's a program that individuals are supposed to know in order to know what and what not to, to do when it comes to safety and uh, uh, everything that has to do with uh, safety measurements. Life is very precious to individuals and we are meant to take good care of our life. I appreciate the Muslim Congress for this program. So anyhow, any day I would like to collaborate with them if such program is still have the opportunity to be still done all over the community where I'm serving or all, all the SADA, I'll surely I'll be with them full support of the program.